I'm Colin McAlinden. Good afternoon and welcome to this special breaking news bulletin on UTV. It's been confirmed this afternoon that Michelle Dixon from Dunloy and Maharaman Kieran O'Neill have tied the knot. Our sources have confirmed that the hearts of singletons up and down the country were shattered as the pair were wed at St Joseph's Chapel in Dunloy in front of hundreds of well-wishers. Some of them well-dressed, others, well, not so much. We can cross live now to some local people to get their views on the nuptials. Uh, Ken, so he, he's getting married, I think. Some girl from Dunloy or something, John, here. Uh, I said from Dunloy, surely, but what worries me is running about that there with Doherty and, and Niall the Rector. Who? Niall the Rector. What did you up, up, the, up the Glen Chain? Next thing he'd be away to slap me up. Hey, does that woman know what she's bloody at, Mary? Ah, oh. she might not know at this stage. He's telling that woman he's up at the pits, and did he's not. He's on here every night with Doc and Rick. Something of paints. Well, hey boys, it's a good job we're on this way. But you look at them, guest list, there are not too many good looking ones on it. Oh, you're there, right, Dad? As you might expect, news of this celebrity wedding has made headlines across Ireland. We can go across now to my broadcast colleague, Marty Morrissey, who's in the RTE studios in Dublin. Well, here we are. You're at your wedding, and sadly, I'm here at work in Dublin. I cannot believe Michelle Dixon. The woman of my dreams, the blonde, well, kind of blonde, that I've always dreamt about, is gone off marrying a lad from County Derry, who hasn't a clue about her life. From Wattie Grahams? I know they're great uh, footballers uh, up that uh, neck of the woods. What's the catchphrase? Up the Glen. Well, up the Glen, uh, Karen, uh, tonight, because uh, tonight is your big night. I remember Pat Spillane talking about you back in 2001 when you were a Derry minor. I think you hit the post twice. Uh, which meant that you couldn't score in a month of Sundays, to be perfectly honest. But anyway, somehow you managed it. But it shows you what Spillane knows. You haven't been heard of since. Sorry, Karen, I couldn't resist. After all, you've taken my Michelle, my Michelle, away from me. This is totally, totally wrong. But anyway, that having been said, I believe you've gone out uh, with Michelle for the last three years. Michelle uh, is, as you all know, is a wonderful solicitor. And uh, Karen, of course, is with uh, H&A. And uh, I know you're great sponsors of the Derry Championship. I just don't understand how Derry football and Antrim hurling is going to work. But anyway, so be it. Well, now that Michelle is gone, I know you have three sisters. And I cannot believe, Brass, that you've gotten rid of all your daughters in two years. Here's a man who was so passionate about his football and hurling, particularly his hurling, that he put on a helmet and tugged out in a camogie match in goals. Hello, Brass. Your reputation is worldwide. I always wanted to meet you. And now, here I am at your daughter's wedding reception. All I can say is, Michelle, uh, if you change your mind, my number is 87 24 No, I better not tell you the rest of it. But tell you what, ask Maggie for it, because she has it. We want to wish you all the very best of luck. Um, Michelle, uh, I'm available when you get tired of your man. You just ring me anytime or email. And Karen, you've got quite a catch in Michelle. Enjoy your evening and many, many happy years together. I wish you well. Up the glen. The bride was, of course, stunning on the day, leaving men up and down the country wondering just what might have been if only they'd got in there before Kieran. Pulling no punches on this matter is boxing champion Paddy Barnes. Michelle, I can't believe you went we went away and got married. The Maharama, that's bad news, like. See that fella gives you any hassle? You come and get me again. I have a few slaps. Congratulations to Kieran McSale on their win. And in a late-breaking development, we can now go over to Kilkenny hurling star DJ Kerry for his views on the marriage. Hi everyone, uh, DJ Kerry here. Michelle, Kieran, I know it's your wedding, but I can't believe that a damn lie woman actually went over to the dark side. I mean, you know, hurling, football. Brass, you had to go over to Derry for a woman. Now it's payback time. The Derry lads are after your daughters. Michelle was some camogie girl. I know she has Ulster Colleges titles, Ulster titles, County Championship titles, pretty much everything in the Kieran, have you got any of those? But Kieran, Michelle, and all the guests, this is my most prized possession. Kieran, you remember when you missed those two chances in the All Ireland semi final? I was actually at that game. If you remember, I came up to you and asked you for an autograph because no one else was, and I felt a bit sorry. 
But you know what? This is what you signed for me. This is what you gave me. And it's one of my very much lasting memories. Well, I know the Dixons would like everyone to know that all the sporting end of it came from their side of the family. But you know what? From my sources, Dr. Mick Loftus, former president of the GA, I think a lot of the sports side came from him. Isn't that right, didn't it? You guys, I hope you really have a great honeymoon in Dubai. And Kieran, I really hope that your hotel room has a balcony. Kieran and Michelle, I hope you have a fantastic night. Brilliant night. Hope everything goes well. And same for all the guests. Just one little word of warning. You know, Michelle, make sure that you don't drink too much tonight. We all know what happened at the Law Institute, that you fell asleep in the bath with a few extra vodkas. So just be a little careful. We don't actually want that to happen in the bridal suite tonight. But listen, everything else is good. Speculation is growing that Michelle is now in full control of the couple's finances and that Kieran will no longer be attending Peter's, Regan's or any other bar for that matter. And his days of having a wee flutter on the horses are now over. One man not too happy about this latest development is champion jockey A.P. McCoy. Kieran and Michelle, it's official. You're Mr and Mrs O'Neill now. The only thing is, Kieran, this now means she controls all the money. So you won't get to bet on the horses as much. I believe you've backed me a few times over the years, so this time I'm backing you. I'm wishing you many years of happiness together, and I hope you both have a great day. And finally, on a personal note, I'd like to congratulate the new Mr and Mrs O'Neill, and I'd like to wish the happy couple many happy returns. Colin McElindon, UTV Live.